I'm Tony Sheldon. I play Bernadette in Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. Bernadette used to be a great star back in the 60s in Australia. She was the first public sex change operation. She's a middle-aged, uh, washed up drag queen who is alone in the world. I, I think she's in a very scary place. I think she's been treated badly over the years. She's encountered a lot of prejudice and uh, she has learned that love is the answer and that kindness is the way to go. I like to create a world in my dressing room that is about show business and glamour and a sort of a heightened glamour, something that's not in my everyday life. The process of getting into Bernadette begins, of course, with the makeup uh, because I am a grey-haired, middle-aged man. Once the eye makeup starts going on, her former glamour starts to appear. The eyelashes are a, a, a nightmare for me because I'm so nearsighted. And so I have to do everything into a magnifying mirror. And, uh, and then I can't wear my glasses to see myself put the eyelashes on. I think that the entire credibility of the love story in the show depends on whether the audience believes I'm a woman. I think the show really suffers if the audience is always conscious they're looking at a man. There's got to be a suspension of disbelief at some point. I think we were all greatly relieved the first time I put on Bernadette's face that <laughs> I didn't look like a dog. It was, uh, we, we all sighed very gratefully. The scariest thing about playing Bernadette, I think, is letting people down who have actually lived her experience. There are people out there who are struggling not only with their sexual identity but with a desire to physically change their, their bodies and become an entirely different person. And they, they have to be honoured. I think the essential quality for an actor to play a woman is fearlessness. And, I, and by that I mean don't, don't edit yourself, don't comment on yourself, don't carry all that baggage of, oh, I, I don't want people to think I'm really like this, um, and so therefore I will not entirely lose my masculinity in the role. You've got to. You've got to commit to it. You've just got to go into the headspace where you are a woman. So as soon as the wig is on, the journey is complete for me. She's, she's there for the next three hours. When I'm finally in the costume, I see a different person. I don't see myself at all. At this stage, she's, she's just there. She lives inside me uh, like the three faces of Eve. And uh, I just let her out to do her show. And then I put the cork back in the bottle. And uh, she stays there until the next performance.